Hello dancers, hello dance teachers. We're here with Jesse, thank you very much. And today uh, I'm going to talk with Jesse. We're going to have a dialogue on Tonju and her issues. And I'm sure that there are some issues in there that you can relate to or it'll be interesting for you to listen to. So Jesse, could you just give us uh, four Tonjus with the right leg? One, two, three, four, bum. Bum. So where would you say is your main issue there? Um, we were talking about it before and then I was saying like the quicker I yeah. can really roll off but now I felt like my feet was rolling in. Right. My right feet. Yeah. So, so um, you know, and this is the wonderful thing about uh, dance and being ballet and being aware. You actually have to be your own teacher. So I asked Jessie a question and then she realised, because I've invited her to have dialogue, she realised that actually she's rolling in in her foot. And this is the constant, um, not struggle, but this, this, um, this constant work that we have. So that's, that's very good because, so we have an issue. She rolls in, which is very easy to do because our ankles are built to move like this but for us it's easier if we keep the weight on the outside and when we tendu so right very good now what i see with um, with jesse and this will you, you just check that for yourself you lift your heel up just before you start so and what happens is so what's happening jesse is just uh, preparing herself and she's contracting the muscles to start, but once you do that, for something to contract, obviously it gets smaller. So what we're trying to do is lengthen. So I'm going to invite Jessie to actually, before she continues, is to go through the floor for a second and then push through. That's it, and bring that heel. There's the quicker one has engagement with the heel here, if you start to bring that in, yeah, the more the muscles are working and I'm just inviting Jesse to massage a little bit more. There you go. So what, what I'm trying to say there, Jesse, is that yeah. um, if we can work a specific muscle group, then you will have uh, more time to worry about other things. <laughs> <laughs> if everything is on, yeah. it's very difficult to feel. So. Uh, if you do something quick, which of course is an issue for everybody, the more we're engaged on the opposite side and the more we actually release the foot and the thigh because we're going to work other muscle groups. Yeah. So can you just show that for me? Oh. Yeah. Shoes are a bit sticky. Yes, well. okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And so what's also happening, if you notice dancers, Jesse, what you're doing is you are moving at least five centimeters that way, which then uh, anatomically takes a lot of weight off here. If I invite you to stay in the middle and then tondu, there you go. So now all I've done is I've shifted her weight and now she needs to have that engagement with the mm -hmm. foot. Yeah? yeah? And that, of course, there is many good reasons for that. It's all about getting us ready to jump. We automatically, it's a human reaction, we, if you're going to move one leg, then you're going to shift stuff to the other side. But I kind of believe we need to keep the navel, the belly button, depending on your language, down in the middle and then try to... There you go. But is it also possible without? Yeah. 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 Yeah, it is, because you're actually keeping your centre, and, and uh, again, the centre is a, is a very important thing. It is the novel, but it's actually a bit lower. Can I invite you to turn around for me? So, and one more. <laughs> All good. This, the sacrum, is actually called sacrum sacred bone. This is the sacred bone. This is actually the balancing area. So if you turn back round again, yeah, and so again, if you just be aware of this kind of area, keep that in the middle and then tendu. 
So dancers, you have to correct yourself. So what's happening now? I've given Jessie some information and she's trying to process that. That's exactly how it works. It doesn't have to be perfect right now, but Jessie's trying to adapt to that new correction. And that's the whole idea that we keep offering you information. Some of it doesn't fit, some of it does fit. Let's have a look to the left side, please. Right, so she's already automatically taken this correction seriously and, and trying to adjust her body and that's the beauty of ballet. It's an ongoing process, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. You can always learn in ballet. You can always learn and, that, and that's what's so beautiful about it. And to learn something, you have to go through the fundamentals. Ballet is just one of those things like playing a violin probably. You need to go through the basics. So I'm just going to invite Jessie to go into first again. This is her capability. Yeah? It's not 180, it doesn't need to be, because in this position Jessie can, can hold the right anatomical structure. And at the same time, I can then invite Jessie to just to use the foot and go. So she's breaking up that tondu nicely. What she's doing is she's educating the what you call the intrinsic muscles. She's educating all oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, that is healthy and that is functional. And that's the whole idea of ballet. It needs to be healthy and simultaneously functional. And that's exactly where we want to go with all these films. So thank you very much, Jesse. Thank you.